Hello, I'm Sajit and welcome to Rain Lab. This video we're going to answer the frequently asked questions that quite a lot of our learners have about our EC tuning and remaps course. So one of the primary questions that we uh, we do keep getting is uh, who should who exactly should do this course? So there are two connotations to these questions. One is um, do I need any prerequisites before I need to do this course? And the second one is what do I do after I finish this course? So the answer to it is like this. There are there are four different reasons why a typical learner comes to us for doing this particular course. So the first one is um, the learner he or she they are pretty interested in knowing what the easy tuning is all about. So they've been seeing remaps, they've been talking about tuning, but, but they're just curious about it and they want to satisfy that curiosity. So that's the first uh, type of learners that we do get. The second is uh, people who are working in the automotive industry and uh, these people are working as automotive technicians or electricians, mechanics or something like that. And they now want to understand what electronic fuel injection is all about. They want to start working with ECUs. They want to understand sensors. They want to understand actuators. Then this, this course can really help you out with that. The third is uh, the type of learner who wants to learn tuning and remaps to set up their own business. So it could be a tuning remap business or you have an existing garage, you are trying to upgrade it, you are trying to do something on those lines. So that's the third type of uh, job profile or third type of learners that we do get. And uh, the final one is about uh, people who want to kickstart a career in the OEM R&D. So, uh, very often we get people from the triple e or ec department they're trying to get into an automotive electronics company and to do that they need to understand the fundamentals of automotive electronics or a mechanical student trying to get into companies like uh, robert bosch or, or something like that they need to know what automotive ecu is all about what sensors and actuators are all about and they basically need to be handheld and they need to like kind of learn all these fundamentals before they can kickstart their automotive R&D career. So these are the four different types of learner profiles that we do get. And uh, for these learners, the next question would be, how is it that we teach the course? So um, this course, which we have been, we've been like teaching this, I've been personally teaching this course for the last four years. And uh, this is a course which has evolved over time, right? So when we started out, we obviously started in a very different way, but now we have come to a point where we are able to teach this course even to a school student who's just completed his seventh or eighth standard. So that's the level of uh, basic level of education you need if you want to understand what ECU tuning is all about. So we start right from the basics. We don't expect any prerequisites from you. And uh, we also cover everything that you need to know with regards to ECU tuning and remaps for a petrol or a diesel vehicle for a standalone ECU or a remap. Right. So all of those things are covered. And in addition, in the pro course, we also talk about performance modifications like um, intake systems, exhaust, cams, um, aftermarket turbocharging and, and the whole likes. Right. So that's kind of how we teach. Start from the basics, go to the advanced, whatever you need to know about, uh, uh, you know, any one of your, your, your requirements, the four requirements we saw last time in the last slide. So any of those four things would be satisfied by this. And um, the final question that we do get on these lines about how we teach these courses, um, people do ask if we kind of teach something very specific, like, do you, do you teach me how to tune um, a Nemaha R15? Um, so the answer to that is no, we only cover the fundamentals. Uh, which means we don't we don't exactly go into the details and tell you this is how an R15 would work. This is how you need to uh, be tuning an R15 or for that matter, a BMW 3 Series. We don't get into that specifics, but whatever basics we teach, you would be able to apply those principles to any particular bike or a car, petrol or diesel vehicle out there, and you would still be able to do that work. Right. So that is what we concentrate on. And finally, to wrap up all this theoretical knowledge, we give you guys hands on using our virtual dyno. So the virtual hands on, which which basically brings me to the next topic. So the next question people ask me is, is it possible for a learner to completely learn about ECU tuning and remaps without actually getting a real hands on? So the answer to that question is 
see we are we are not providing an actual hands on as a part of the course that we teach so that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it on your own you can do it but the reason why we don't offer there are two reasons to it the first one is if we do offer a hands on it has to be offline and uh, we we really can't handle offline due to uh, the current restrictions and also because of uh, the scalability factor involved in it the second reason why we have stopped offering a hands on actual hands on practical hands on courses is because uh, the of the cost that is involved in it so now a typical dyno to rent it out by the hour would cost you somewhere between 4000 to 6000 rupees and uh, if you add the cost of renting out a car or a bike which has got a tunable ecu on it and then you put it on the dyno and learn it um, the total cost you're looking per hour is about 10000 rupees and uh, very easily okay i mean very easily from a previous experience you would need about 8 to 10 hours of uh, hands on to kind of grasp the basics alone so which means you are looking at spending about 80 to 1 lakh rupees trying to learn the basics and then another 10 to 15 hours to kind of really understand the concepts and practice which means the amount of money you would spend doing an actual hands on is is going to be about 1 and a half to 2 lakh rupees now this was the reason why a lot of people were not able to learn ec tuning earlier and that is exactly the problem which we have solved by building the virtual dyno which means for just the course fees that you pay you get to use our virtual dyno for 3 full months right so you get that kind of a hands on and um, once you're done with it you really want to get some actual hands on you're always free to you know put your own vehicle on the dyno and you can always get that kind of a hands on as well now um since we're talking about uh, the virtual dyno the other question that we do keep getting is um how do we actually get to see the virtual dyno and uh, what exactly is the virtual dyno and and how accurate is it so these are some questions we ask so the first question um, how do you get a demo of the virtual dyno all you'll have to do is head over to rainlab.com go to our website go to our home page and uh, from the courses drop down select virtual engine dyno so that will take you to the course page which will give you free access to the virtual dyno for about 4 uh, days so we also have a small video out there which kind of tells you what are the different parts of the virtual dyno and how you could possibly use it so you could use it and and probably like just try working with the virtual dyno of course teaching you to work on the virtual dyno is is basically the ec tuning course so we cannot exactly get into the depth and kind of teach you how to use the virtual dyno we would unfortunately not be able to do that but um, a, a small user manual kind of a video is there you can look at it and you can kind of start tuning on your own now the second question with virtual dyno is how accurate is it right so um, accuracy in any engineering uh, discipline is is directly proportional to the cost um i mean uh, it, it it's like that even with virtual systems so uh, with our virtual dyno we were going behind a system which is as cheap as possible so that um, a lot of students get access to the dyno and and they get to learn new things right so what we have done is we have kind of uh, did a small trade off between accuracy and the cost and um, as of now our virtual dyno it stands at somewhere between 70 to 80% accuracy levels between 4000 to 10000 rpm less than 4000 rpm there are there are a lot of um, areas where it is not really accurate but um, that being said and done um, this is this is reasonably accurate enough for you guys to go out and uh, learn how to tune So hope I was able to answer pretty much most of the questions that you guys had. If there's anything else that you have and we've not been able to cover in this video, please feel free to get in touch with our customer service team. We would be more than happy to address your queries whatever they are. Thank you.